On this episode of On the Set, we're continuing the Xenomorph fun with Alien 3 and more Ellen Ripley. Meow. Let's get into it. Where we last left off, Ripley and some others were in cryosleep drifting back to Earth on a ship called the Sulaco. However, they had a few stowaways. There were a lot of eggs on board as well. One of the eggs hatched, releasing a facehugger on board. Then, a fire on the ship causes an escape pod to launch, which had Ripley and others on it. The pod crash lands on Fiorina, a maximum security prison. Ripley, the sole survivor of the wreck, is woken up by Clemens, the prison's medical officer. Ripley convinces the warden to have autopsies done on the bodies of the others, because they may have an alien inside them. Luckily, as it turns out, they don't. But, there's still a facehugger running around somewhere. Anyway, a funeral is held for Newt and the others who died in the crash, and their bodies are burned. But then, shit really hits the fan when an alien bursts through the chest of one of the inmate's dogs. Ripley finds the android Bishop in the trash and reactivates him. Bishop tells Ripley that a facehugger is in the prison with them, and that the Wayland Corporation, the company whose ship they were on, knows all about it. So, they're still up to their old fuckery. Are you meaning to tell me that they knew about the facehugger on board and just waited around to see what would happen? Well, that's savage. The alien goes on a killing spree, and Ripley tells the warden about what happened on the ship, basically recapping the first two movies. She suggests that everyone hunt and kill the facehugger, but we know it's too late for that. Just then, the alien attacks them and kills Clemens. But, out of nowhere, it just avoids Ripley altogether and then leaves. Hmm, that's not weird at all. After that, the alien kills the warden and a bunch of inmates. Wondering why the alien avoided Ripley, she scans her body with some medical equipment and finds an alien inside of her. She wants to get it out of her, but Dylan, the spiritual leader of the prison, wants her to help the inmates kill the alien first. Yeah, no, screw that, I'd be cutting myself open. They plan on luring the xenomorph to a facility there and drowning it in molten lead. But this ends poorly and most of the other inmates die. Dylan lures the alien over and sacrifices himself as the molten metal pours over the both of them. Then, Ripley sets off the sprinklers. The extreme temperature change causes the alien to explode. After everything, the Whaling Corporation shows up and tries to persuade Ripley to get surgery to remove the alien, but she refuses. They back her onto a platform over a furnace, and she throws herself into it as the alien bursts through her chest. The end. Well, damn. That's the end of Ellen Ripley, I guess. I didn't really expect her to die. But why not just remove the damn alien? I mean, I guess they wanted her to have it so that they can use it for experiments or something. But I guess she would have died either way. Man, the Whaling Corporation wins again. Those bastards. Anyway, join me next time as Ripley somehow returns. And I'll see you then.